all doors and access panels at the left afterward fuselage should be closed and latched. Like before, applicable probes, sensors, ports, vents and drains should be checked. We continue with the left wing and the respective leading edge. Basically, the check is similar to the previous one on the opposite side. Do you remember it, Douglas? Yes, of course. Check the fuel tank vent, wing surfaces, access panels are latched, and that the fuel measuring sticks are flush and secured too. And make sure that you check the condition of the leading edge flaps and slats. The next step is to inspect engine number one. Like engine number two, we have to inspect the exhaust tail plug, exhaust case struts, invisible turbine blades, and four stage blades of the low pressure turbine for obvious damage and evidence of metal or oil contamination. Verify that the thrust reversers are stowed. The engine intake has to be free and the N1 has to move freely. Fan blades, probes and spinners have to be inspected. Access panels and fan cowl latches have to be latched. Check the whole exterior surfaces, including the bottom of the nacelles for any damage. Four thermal fuse plugs in the inner wheel half prevent tire explosion caused by hot brakes. The plugs melt to release tire pressure at approximately 177 degrees Celsius. The fuse plug must be replaced if it melts. 